Earlier this morning, I questioned Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov at a press roundtable that was aired live on Russian television. Thank you, Mr. Foreign Minister. The world is seeing civilians being killed in Ukraine by Russian bombs. The world is hearing the lies Russia is telling about those attacks. The world is uniting to condemn those attacks and those lies. How can you defend them? I cannot comment conjectures, and there is a great deal of these now. But, you know, if you paid your attention probably to the fact that Europe mostly and the United States are trying to close down all the outlets, media outlets and information sources broadcast by Russia and from Russia on how the special military operation progresses and advances and how the Ukrainian army and the neo-Nazi battalions behave towards the peaceful civilians. They, they rob and rip off the Donbass settlements. When, when, when they fall back, they take vehicles and uh, property from Ukrainian residents living there. They behave like pillagers and marauders. And, you know, there is a, a lot of information about the future provocations that are brewed in Mariupol and on other territories where the, the Ukrainians are now trying to use the uh, civilians as a human shield, talk to the Indians, the Arabs and the Africans that are trying to flee Ukraine now. They are not allowed. And yesterday, the Indian Prime Minister spoke to, president, to the President of Russia, concerned over the death of an Indian student in Kharkov. There are no Russian troops in Kharkov now, but we saw the footage like depicting a foreigners trying to flee uh, the Ukrainian soil via Russia, but and, and they're not allowed to do so, you know. I don't have enough time now to enumerate all the facts. Please visit our website, the website of our ministry, and you will be able to get a detailed description of what the Kiev neo-Nazi re regime is now doing. You like the word killer? You know, real killers are siding with the Kiev regime. Do you believe that President Zelensky, the first Jewish president of Ukraine, whose families were killed in the Holocaust, is a Nazi? I think that the Nazis and neo-Nazis manipulate him. Otherwise, it is hard to account for how President Zelensky can preside in a society, of a society where neo-Nazis is rife. They make marches and torch processions. And for those torch processions, President Zelensky allocates his personal guards from his company, and they train constantly studying acts of sabotage and war warfare in urban areas. And that is all happening under President Zelensky when he keeps saying that his grandfather was at war. Look at the laws that President Zelensky, which claims to, to be a global citizen. Well, look at the laws about the indigenous nations and ethnicities of Ukraine, not mentioning the Russian nation. How can not a neo-Nazi president support laws banning the Russian language at school, which is horrible, not in, only in education, but in everyday life? They imposed a prohibition on just asking for for drugs and medications in in a pharmacy in Russian, and in in the Crimea in Russia they have three official languages: Russian, the, the Crimean Tatar language, and Ukrainian language. And any national of Russia living in the Crimea has a right to turn to local authorities, to an office, speaking his 
vernacular language, and they have to respond in that language. I can enumerate facts for quite long. You, you know those striking images and salient things, and you don't have time to peruse and read the facts and just spend at least half an hour visiting our website, the Foreign Ministry website and the Defense Ministry website. You will not be allowed to raise your voices. I know that. But a French journalist, you know, yesterday, actually, President Macron said that accusing Zelensky and Ukraine of the rampant nationalism is a lies. Well, he responded to him, but his compatriot, a French journalist, responded to him. She visited Donbass and she described the bombings and shellings of schools and the killings of two women that worked in that school. And, and she put to shame all the Western politicians that turn a, a, a deaf ear, a blind eye onto that. She wasn't allowed to put it on the air, but you know, it's available on social media. Please learn more facts. Don't try to pretend this, that this uh, American action movie is developing according to your plan of absolute good and absolute evil. You get the sense there why the American Treasury Department calls him Putin's chief propagandist. I mean, calling Zelensky, the Jewish president of Ukraine, a neo-Nazi, denying what the whole world is seeing right. with our eyes on the killings of civilians. You also heard that comment he made about how I like the word killer. Mm -hmm. He was pretty clearly responding to this interview I had with President Biden last year. So you know Vladimir Putin. You think he's a killer? Mm-hmm. I do. That, of course, created quite an incident between President Putin and President yeah. Biden. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.